back again I would do anything at all No, I'm not innocent You deserve a better man But let me just hold your hand once more I wanna take you out Ooh, 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 ooh I'm sure you what I'm all about Ooh, ooh, ooh Make up for what we lost Tonight is the night that we're gonna fall in love I don't care about you and him I don't care about what has been I only care about your soft skin Cause we're still sleeping in my head I don't care about you and him I don't care about what has been I only care about your soft skin Cause we're still sleeping in my head There's a new part of me, part I want you to see You haven't seen the best of me, I know You can try to fool yourself, like you love somebody else But you and him will never feel the way we do Ooh, 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 I wanna take you out Ooh, 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 I'll show you what I'm all about Ooh, 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 make up for what we lost I don't care about you and him I don't care about what has been I only care about your soft skin Cause we're still sleeping in my head I don't care about you and him I don't care about what has been I only care about your soft skin Cause we're still sleeping in my head Everybody. Hello. I'm putting in my liquid IV really quick in my cup. How are you all? I'm so excited to do a live. Um, ugh, I am an affiliate with liquid IV. So if you want some, you can get some with my affiliate link. This one's the strawberry lemonade one. It's good, but it's not as good as sea berry. I'm just going to be real honest about that. Hi. I did. I did pass my test. I am a licensed ultrasound sonographer. Thank you all. Thank you all. It was very hard. <laughs> it was a very hard test. Thank you so much, everybody. I'm so excited for this video today. I saw this and I was like, I could film it by myself, edit it, and post it tomorrow, or I could go live because I'm not studying, right? And I think I might do this at least once a week by myself, go live, because it's super fun. So that's what we're going to do today. We are going to watch a video of Mary Scott and Shanna Hunter. <laughs> who They've just joined the Olive People, which is a new MLM. Sorry if me stirring this is loud. Um, but it's a new MLM that Aaron and I talked about recently. I know Savannah's going to post about it. I know a lot of other people, like pretty sure DC, Tish, um, The Clown Town, lots of people I'm sure have uh, talked about it. So I'm very excited. Uh, Melissa said, we just received satisfying news from our lawyer. Yay. Julie Jo passed her exam. I did. And now she's live. It's a good day. Oh, well, I'm very excited that you received satisfying news. And um, I hope y'all are all having a great Wednesday. And if you're not, I hope this cheers you up a little bit. So... Let me put this back in. Um, 
they are talking. So I feel like they talk a little bit about a bunch of stuff today. If you don't know, Mary Scott was in Vic Beauty and then Beauty Society. And now she's in the Olive Tree People or the Olive, I don't know what they're called. Olive Tree People. The Waterless Skincare People. Yes, <laughs> this is them. And the like Drink the Olive Oil People. This is also them. And uh, this is my first time making it to a live love from Ireland. Oh, yay, Ireland. Welcome. What's up, Bestie? How's it going? Um, yes. And Harper, you know what? I did a three minute intro thing for y'all, you know, to prepare yourself. So you only missed a minute. So, um, all tree people, Mary Scott, she was in those and then went to the all tree people. And then Shanna Hunter was in a ton, like so many, but most importantly, Ella Mir. And she was like the, um, like one of the top people in Ella Mir. Like she started with the company and then left. So... She left for the all tree people. So we're going to see what that's about. Sorry, I hit my mic. Oh my goodness. The all tree things is sad yet hilarious. I agree. All right. So before we get started, don't forget to like the video. Um, go ahead and subscribe. Y'all, I looked the other day, yesterday, because I was making a media kit. Someone wants to do a sponsor with me, which is kind of exciting. I don't know if I'm going to do it. We'll see. But I might. Um, I was doing my media kit and I looked at my YouTube and 40% of the people who watch me aren't subbed. I was like, dude, <laughs> could you please sub? Like, please? And they're like consistent viewers. I was like, my homie. And I know sometimes YouTube will like do this thing where I'm unsubs people. It's like a little glitch thing. It happens all the time. Um, so yeah. And then there's also membership option. Grab a drink, grab a snack. I think it's time that we get started, okay? And if you're the replay crew, say hello in the comments below. I'm not going to ask you to put a number. <laughs> you can just say hello. And then, of course, as we go, leave your commentary and we'll chat about it. All right, here we go. <laughs> okay, we are finally live on Facebook. So if you're not attending us attending the zoom right now we are also on facebook which um we're excited to share tonight i am honored to share alongside shanna hunter and let us just start this fun little video that we have for you guys um if you have not seen this you will be excited to learn more about our founder and about our products through this little video Hey, I'm Thomas Arnold, founder of Olive Tree People and all associated brands. Olive Tree People is a holistic beauty company whose first product was created in the legendary Olive Tree House. A market with the size of 480 billion US dollars. Olive Tree People is the pioneer in waterless beauty, the next big thing and the future of skincare. Well, hot damn. Wouldn't be a Julie Joe live unless I was muted. Am I right? I'm right. If you've been on my lives before, that happens sometimes. <laughs> um, so anyway, thank you all for letting me know that I was muted because I was going off. Okay? I was going off. But I'm not muted anymore, hopefully. Okay, good. <laughs> Oops, shoot. Okay, so let's talk about Mary Scott and Shanna. I love what Olivia said because this is exactly how I feel. Feel. She says, I'm so sick of looking at these same two women try and sell something new every five months. I personally believe that these two women are grifters. You see our comment. <laughs> LOL. I love being able to see the moment you see our comment. Yes. Peace and love. Thank you all. <laughs> it's okay, Melissa J. I was, I was like speaking from my soul, but I'll say the same thing. Um, these two people in my opinion, have gone from MLM to MLM to MLM. And if you notice, they start in the MLM early. They go to a certain extent to, in the MLM, like eight months to a year, right? Maybe a little over a year. When it starts to like lose its uh, excitement, excitability-ness. <laughs> and I think that in those eight months to a year-ish, 
they tried to make as much money as they possibly could, and then they move on. I completely think that that is what Mary Scott did with Vic Beauty and Beauty Society. Uh, and then I also believe that's what Shana Hunter did with Elamir and probably a bunch of other MLMs. Ginji's out here pouring into us without sound. <laughs> Get stuck on in the ask curve. Yes, Shadow. Absolutely. Uh, I, I, <laughs> Jennifer said, well, hot damn. If that ain't some Texas talk right there. Uh, yeah, earlier I said Hattie. Hattie. Uh, but anyway, I just believe that they are like the ultimate grifters. I think Aaron did a video about them grifting or, or Shanna grifting. And I 100% am all about that. I completely agree with her. Um, and it, and you should go watch her video on it. Cause you know, that's my bestie. And I love her and she's really good at what she does. And Olivia said, I can't believe Elamir was already like a year ago. Right. Right. Isn't that wild? But you know what? I, I actually, I was shocked to hear that Shanna left because she went so balls to the wall for Elamir. I was kind of shocked, uh, but we're going to hear from Mary Scott and we're going to hear some of Shanna's story in this. And I'm very pumped. I've been talking for too long. Um, as Charlene said, Shanna has done this with four companies. What? Four companies? I, I mean, I'm not surprised, but dang, my father was a senior VP of a large MLM for 20 years. The stories I could tell DB, we are here for all the stories. <laughs> and if you want to email me, I would love to hear your stories. Wait, Elmer was a year ago. It feels like it. I think so. I really think so. Okay, here we go. According to the statement. Sorry. Hey, Hi, I'm Mary. Thomas Olmo, founder of Sorry, NFT guys. Let me back for that a little bit. Nice, Mary. A market with the size of 480 <laughs> billion US dollars. Olive Tree People is the pioneer in waterless beauty, the next big thing in the future of skincare, according to the statements of magazines like Forbes, Woke, uh, The Harper's Bazaar, uh, Whole Food magazines, and many more. Without the olive tree, I wouldn't be here today. Um, many years ago, I had treated myself with the power of the olive trees when modern medicine only made things worse. In this time of silence, I had discovered a molecule with the ability to keep the cells of trees alive for up to 4,000 years and completely regenerate me in just 176 days. <laughs> um regenerate you in 176 days you know what that makes me think of when people think like if they freeze their bodies that like they can wake up in 100 years and like be thawed out and be completely alive and in the same state that they were that's the vibe that i got from all of that i am kind of shocked that he used the word regenerated because it's like uh, that it gives me that vibe but i don't know about y'all is Elamir starting to decline like awakened? Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Absolutely. Let's see. Thank goodness for tattoo removal. I know for those poor Elamir people who all got tattoos. Like what's her name? Tracy? Didn't Tracy get a tattoo? Do y'all remember Tracy? Are you a salamander, sir? <laughs> sir, humans are not trees. Amen. <laughs> Why are they all like this? Bonnie, that is such a solid question. Modest Hermit says, waterless is reminding me of the 1700s when the elite French class thought water was bad for you and refused to bathe. Wow, that's a whole vibe. <laughs> oh my God. Oh my goodness. And then followed my passion and love for these wonderful trees. Studied plant synergism with wise herb women in the Mediterranean and century old monastery recipes with Franciscan monks. In the south of Italy, I discovered the green, very bitter tasting cell elixir, an ancient forgotten Mediterranean fountain of youth that is made from the leaves, the bark and the roots of hundred year old olive trees. Laboratory tests showed that in these elixir, the precious molecule hydrochitrosol, which allowed me to regenerate within very short time was up to one. The way he's saying it is, he said, which allowed me to regenerate in a very short time. I'm sorry, did your body dissolve and you have to regenerate parts of it? I don't get it. 
the liver actually does grow itself. Like you can grow your liver back. I know it sounds weird, but like if you put a tiny piece of liver, it'll like regenerate a liver. But like <laughs> just getting a weird vibe with that whole sentence. A thousand times more concentrated and it's not an olive oil. On this basis, I later developed our first product, the IO-1, in the olive tree house. It recognizes the imbalance sites in our body and balance them intuitively. The reviews on these were phenomenally stunning. On this ancient power, I wanted to develop uh, the olive tree therapy as a Mediterranean answer to Ayurveda. However, this requires skincare products, and so we analyzed the composition of thousands of creams for many months from the entry level to premium high-end segment. Thank you so much, Perry. What's up, my gal? She's on my Instagram. I'll go follow her on Instagram too. She's great. Um, but oh, I probably shouldn't say it yet. I'll wait to the point part and then I'll say it. The result of all these okay. creams at Agua in the first place uh, of the Inkies. This means that these products are based on <laughs> up to 95% water and refined oil, which means dead oils. So the idea arose um, to develop uh, a completely new generation of holistic skincare and replace the 95% with real active ingredients <laughs> such as hydroxytrosol and the cell elixir. So without 95% yes, fillers, the water that we do not use, we have been providing uh, to the people in Africa for many years through our water wells, last used by the Maasai in 2021. Studies clearly show uh, that 98... What studies, my guy? What studies? Tell me the studies. Also, I would love to know more about that water well thing. I really am interested in hearing a little more about it percent of all customers after being informed yes. decide against 95 percent fillers and for 95 percent more active ingredients when it comes to their largest organ the skin a long-term study shows that skin health has decreased dramatically over the past 60 years what studies my guy what studies and skin allergies and skin disease have increased by up to 600%. A link to the 95% fillers is only consequent. The life-changing effectiveness of our holistic olive tree therapy for skin and body has meanwhile been confirmed by conventional doctors and thousands of five-star ratings. Hold on. The fabulous... What was that? ...has meanwhile been confirmed by conventional... Being confirmed by conventional doctors. Okay, what? general and sports medicine, chiropractic, gotcha. Acupuncture. Listen, nothing against chiropractic doctors, but you're not a medical doctor, and the way that they use this is as if you are. Like, nah, you're not an MD. You're a chiropractor, which they do some good for some people. Hey, Amanda, welcome. But, like... You're acting like this person is an MD, a doctor who works for a hospital, who's like saying, uh, they almost make you think it's like someone who knows their shit about medication and medicine acting as though this is like the real deal. And it's like, no, this is a chiropractor, acupuncture, osteopathy. Like, I understand that this is great for some people, but I also understand that this is not a doctor. Like, this is not a medical doctor. So... Much love to those who like them, and no offense to anyone who is one, but, like, don't use your, you know, whatever, your education in a false way, right, to get paid. ...doctors and thousands of five-star ratings. The fabulous effectiveness of the olive tree molecule, hydroxytrosol, which can only be found out of tone in our mountain olive trees, has been confirmed by science and even by the ESFA and the FDA. Olive tree people has grown organically, what? but only be found out as on. meanwhile be confirmed by conventional doctors. 
and thousands of five-star ratings. Okay. The fabulous effectiveness of the olive tree molecule, hydroxytyrosol, which can only be found out of tone in our mountain olive trees, has been confirmed by science and even by the ESFA and the FDA. What? Olive tree people huh? has grown organically by 480% uh, over the past five years. 1,800% faster than the beauty industry. What is we have plan? developed 128 unique products during this time, created four amazing brands, and are with over 30,000 of our... So the olive tree people is part of a uh, like one section of a bigger thing. Um, it's kind of like Monet with... Um, what is Monet under? Someone's going to know. I could look it up in a second. Let me see. Monet... It's part of what brand? Alcora. There we go. The Alcora Corporation. And Alcora has a bunch of other things under it. Even, literally even another beauty company that's not an MLM. So this is like the MLM version of the Olive Tree people. I have a theory, and obviously like, I think that this is true with any MLM, that they're doing this so they can act, so that they know for sure that these people will be their customers. Like we all know that the majority of the, the, the best com customers of the company is going to be their uh, distributors. And so I think that while there's why they're starting an MLM is, I mean, to try to make as much money as they can, knowing that these people are 100% going to be customers, that these distributors are going to be absolute customers. I just got back from visiting my parents and J yay, JJ has a live stream. Yes, welcome. We're owned, certified and widely growing mountain olive trees the largest conservationist in the region awarded by the mayor. We even get the honey for our olive matcha mass from our 150,000 hardworking bees. With our US wide TV shows and the new waterless entry level brand, The Intuition of Nature, we will expand accordingly to make the future of skincare accessible. For I don't know why, but every time it stops there, I don't know if my computer just likes to just. One of my favorite things about that box is all these women lose their minds over that box. Have y'all seen some of the stuff? They lose their absolute, I mean, I was gonna say S-H-I-T, but I'm trying not to cuss on stream. They lose their, their minds over that box. <laughs> like, is it a magic box? No. Are you gonna recycle it? No, okay it off but let's move on okay so i am mary scott and i'm here alongside like i told you guys earlier shanna hunter um we're going to tell you a little bit more about the olive tree people why we're super excited about this company and you know that way you can make a decision whether okay y'all want to look at these core values real quick let's look at them so olive glow graciously loving others wait a minute mary scott Someone help me with this because I'm going to go back and I'm going to find it. Mary Scott, I'm pretty sure I reacted to a video. She also had another team named Glow, didn't she, in like Vic Beauty? And she called it Graciously Loving Others or someone else in MLM did Glow. I think it was Mary, though. And all of Glow. She, she called it because GLO is Graciously Loving Others. I'm trying to. I'm trying to understand. I'm pretty sure she did. Um, so our team, anyway, I'm gonna hop off that really quick. And if y'all remember, I'm sure like, maybe y'all can help me. Um, the same way you were excited about Vic Beauty, Ella Mary's, yeah, that's right, that's right. Um, number one, we do our business with good intentions and heart. Okay, um, no. I'm, I just disagree. I actually think that um, Mary Scott and Shanna Hunter are two of the people who know exactly what they're doing it for, and that's money. Why do you think they're not at the, you know, not in beauty society again? Or by the way, that's where Brooke Ashley Banks went, beauty society or Vic Beauty. Like, why do you think they're not in that? Because money, right? Number two, we uplift and encourage one another. Okay. And until they stop making money? I have a feeling. That's my feeling. Um, number three, comparison is a thief of joy. We get inspired by 
others, but, but we never compare. I mean, to a certain extent, I agree that comparison absolutely is like one of the worst things that you could do unless you're comparing yourself to someone of like, okay, what are they doing that I could do differently that I could do like that I could make myself better doing. But all in all, I think that the only reason they don't allow people to compare themselves is because they're going to think like, why is that person who's doing the exact same stuff as me, like growing and succeeding when I'm not? Well, because it's only a few people who get to do that and they're just, they just so happen to be one of them and sorry to tell you, but you aren't going to grow and you aren't going to succeed because that's not how the business structure is made. Yes. These, these both, I know at least Mary Scott's a, a Christian. Brooke did move to beauty society. And what's so interesting about that is that Brooke Ashley Banks was like, I will never stop using uh lime life. I will never stop that. The best makeup, blah, 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 blah. you know, when she was a modair. Well, she did. So in fact, uh, the next one is equality for everyone. Come just as you are. That is so ironic in an MLM. <laughs> equality for everyone. Really? I, I don't believe that. Not even for a hot minute. Equality in an MLM? Lols? Jeez. Number five, we graciously love others. Okay, you're just repeating yourself. And also... I don't agree with that, but I also am going to like shit on most of these. Oh, there I go. S-H-I-T. Excuse me. I'm sorry. Six, we are resilient. There is a lesson to be learned in every obstacle. Okay. Did, did they just copy and paste this from Pinterest? What? Seven, we are solution seekers. When we face an issue, we always look for solutions. Okay. What does that have to do with anything? Yeah, you're solution seekers for money. You hop to another MLM. Well, then I'm going to click something. Okay, I think that's too small. You hop to another MLM. That was your solution. To make more money was to hop to another MLM. Number eight, we lead with compassion and kindness. I call butts. I call BS. Release the cursy words. <laughs> JK. Um, even their values sound like word salad. I agree. I, it's just a copy-paste Pinterest value thing. There, there's nothing special about them. A lot of people have these values. It's a thing. Two lock arms with us or maybe support a friend or have whatever you want to do but our team welcome to our team <laughs> pause frankie rose if you don't know i just got licensed for i just passed a test to get licensed as an ultrasound sonographer and frankie rose said if you ultrasound a bottle of their olive oil you'd see the snake oil that's funny that's funny. opportunity night our team is called olive glow glow is graciously loving others oh, our team you. core values are we do business with good intentions and heart. We uplift and encourage one another. Uh, comparison is a thief of joy. We get inspired by others, but we never compare. Quality or Equality for everyone, come just as you are. Makeup, <laughs> no makeup, feeling Lock run arm. down. We have the hot mess mama crew. We have every type of person you yes. can think of. We want to love you and welcome you to be a part of our team. Uh, and that leads to, we graciously love others. We are resilient. There's a lesson to be learned in every obstacle. Yes. We are solution seekers. When we face an issue, we always look for a solution and we lead with compassion and kindness. These are just things that... Um, our team is inspiring to do every single day. Do no, no, you got it from Pinterest and you do it as a way to make people feel good about joining. It's like, Oh, I want to do that. I want to do those things, but that didn't necessarily mean that you do it. We do it perfectly. No, but we definitely inspire to do it perfectly. Right. Okay. So let's talk a little bit more about the olive tree people and this business. And Shanna, I'm gonna introduce you a little bit to take over here. Shanna's been with us for a couple of weeks now Shanna. and we'll get into her story a little bit more, but why don't you talk more about the hair aspect and conventional versus us? Awesome, thank you so much, Mary. So I'm really, really excited to be here, guys. And I am even more excited to talk a little bit about what makes us so special and so unique. Um, I am a RN. I've been an RN for about 15 years in the ER, and I also have um, my certification in uh, health. And so I am a coach as well. So I do a whole lot of things when it comes to the healthcare world, right? But I had, and yet you do so much damage to that same world by sharing this pseudoscience bullcrap. Good job, Shanna. 
Well done. I haven't really gone into the skincare world. And it's so right. amazing to think that taking care of your inside was so, so, so important to me. Eating healthy, eating clean, right? And I taught <laughs> so many people how to do the same. No but I right. never truly realized that what you put on your inside needs to match on your outside. And so I had never really truly understood why people were so into skincare before until I met Tom. Thomas, which is our founder, right? And he explained his water list. Okay, so I, I'm, I'm curious. Do we know what other MLM Shanna was in other than Elamir? Because if she's in, a, if she was in a, a beauty one or you know skincare one with skincare, I call straight BS on what she just said. Do we know what else she was in? Let me know. Um. So I know that Mary Scott was in Vic Beauty, but I don't know what, what Shanna was in. I know she's in Elamir. Technology here um, that we have in this company. And he simply put, well, why would you do all that good side, good stuff for inside your body and not do it on your biggest organ of your body? And it just went ding, ding, ding. I don't think that what she's doing and saying here, I don't think it's doing what she wants it to do. Like, I don't think that it's helping her in the way that she thinks. Like, you're a nurse. We do learn about the skin. I mean, I'm not a nurse. I'm an ultrasound technician. But I just passed my abdomen uh, test, which, by the way, so hard. But you know what? I did it, baby. I did it. And I learned so much about the skin, the, the dermis, epidermis, the muscles, everything. And, and it's, I know how important it is. I don't think this is doing what she thinks it's doing. Aaron, Aaron B's bestie said bio rains. She, she said, I think this is her first skincare MLM. Yes. Okay. That would make sense. Right. Okay. So what we have here is very special. We have on the left, you're going to see a demonstration of having 70% of distilled water. So what I want you guys to do today is you have a little, a little homework. You go into your bathroom and pick up your skincare, okay? Almost most skincares, okay, are going to have water as their very first ingredient. And why that, while that might sound okay, what happens when you have water as your first ingredient? It's usually 70% of that. And what it does is water breeds bacteria. Okay. So you're going to have, you know, more preservatives because they have to put preservatives in to keep that water there. Right. It's dead water. Okay. Where we have bioactive and I'll explain that in a minute. Okay. Um, Wait, I really got to know is dead water like a real thing? Oh, you're getting, oh, you're going to, you're going to get an echo done on your heart. Oh, I hope you're okay. Um, is dead water a real thing? Can someone like be real with me? <laughs> like, is it real? I don't understand. I don't get it. Also, my dog is losing her mind. Hey, Iris, baby girl, come here, baby. I was like, mom, I'm mad. Why are you mad? She doesn't want to listen. Uh, I'm trying to look. Okay, their ingredients for olive oil is 100% pure olive oil. Sounds, sounds good. Uh, let's look at their uh, mouth oil cures. Oh, that word that they use the word cure in it. Ingredients. Mint oil, citrus, lemon peel. Okay, that doesn't look like it has water in it. It is mostly olive oil. Um, let's look. Okay, I'm I'm just still looking beauty and health elixirs. Okay, I feel like this is one they talk about a lot. I'll show y'all in a moment. Um, I remember finding one that had like some type of water as like one of their first ingredients. I don't even know what any of this is. What is conserverung stuff? Couldn't tell you. Can't even read it. Beauty fountain. Aqueous extract of olive extract. What does that mean? That's the aqueous word. Okay, you know what? Define aqueous. I have a feeling. What does that mean? Or of containing water, typically as a solvent or medium. So, 
The first ingredient, I'll show y'all, means in liquid. Um, it's water, but it's like in there. Oh, DB, you sent me? Okay, cool, 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 cool. That means no minerals? Is that what it means? Even non-watery things like mascara need preservatives, right? To prevent bioactive, but don't, don't want bacteria for brackish water under salt water. Still not understanding. Um, okay. So don't oils breed bacteria too? Yeah. Yeah. Um, anyway. So I'm going to look into their products a little more, but there was something I was talking about. Aaron and I did a live recently on this company and I was talking about something. I'll have to go back. Y'all can go watch it, but let, let's keep going. Um, and it also is drying to the skin. It Got sounds it. weird That's to say really that, but when you actually put water on your skin, it actually dries out the skin. Okay. And then they'll have refined vegetable oils, petroleum jellies, right, to fill in the rest of it. And that also promotes um, it promotes oxidation. So you guys know about stress, the oxidative stress, right? And damages the microbiome of the skin. So just like we have microbiome in our stomach, in our gut, and in our mouths, and we'll talk about that later, right? But we also have it on our skin. Well, the difference here is that our 70% is not water. It's actually olive leaf cell elixir. So, so my question is, and what? Why is water a bad thing in it? Water's not. They say it's like a filler, but your olive leaf cell elixir, so? I mean, water has great things to it as well. I just don't understand why that is such a big deal, like a waterless thing. I, like, I would rather have water than your olive, olive leaf cell elixir. It, it doesn't make sense to me. I, I just don't understand. <laughs> our, our bodies are like 98% water. Yeah, they, <laughs> they hold a lot of water. Um, but I just, I get what they're trying to do with that. But if you think about it, like, what's the big deal? Like, it, it's okay for it to have water. Chemophilic fear mongering. Yeah, chemophilic fear mongering. Yeah, I just... They just figured out water is a chemical. <laughs> I believe that too at one point when I believed in the secret. So yeah. Yeah, I just, uh, if water is needed for a product to perform how it's formulated, so why is that bad, I'm guessing? Yeah, I just don't understand why it's bad for water. It sounds like they're like, you know, trying to say, well, if, you're, if your product's mostly water, it's not going to work well. It's like, that's not true. That's not true. Um, DC quoted, you're getting more bang for your buck because our products have more stuff in them that's not diluted. They could have just said that. Yeah. Like, I mean, even then, though, does this product actually do what you're saying? And is it products? It, is it so good? I just don't get it. Water is important, too. I keep I'm I'm. It's more of like water does things too. Um, Aaron says, so you're using her, so using her logic, our body should be dried up internally because we're mostly water. Just let that sink in for a second. Um, yeah, uh, yes. Uh, so don't a lot of cleansers and stuff. Yeah, like toners need to be diluted to not be damaging. Yeah, I would think so. So you just saw on the video um, a little bit of Thomas talking about what we have here. It is from the olive leaf. And what they do is they actually crush the olive leaf. And we use that. Guys, if that doesn't work, I don't know what will. Um, and it's bioactive, guys. Okay, so again, bioactive means that it's active ingredient that we're putting on our skin with no kind of petroleum or those... Um, I want to let y'all know my Wi-Fi is like not doing so well. And I'm not, okay, there we go. Pop back up. You know, nasty bases of oil. We actually use our olive leaf, right? So as you can see here, there's amazing <laughs> results. If you are not in our Tree to Beauty awesome. um, group, have somebody, um, whoever invited you here, add you to that so you can see all the different before and afters. But we have so many, guys. This is just one. 95% um, saw bright, radiant complexion and well-being. 71% effective against effects of aging. 
72% preferred Olive Vita, which is our brand under the olive tree, okay, um, to their previous products that they had been using. So guys, this is something that is so different and unique and no other company in the MLM space has this technology. That's what you said about Elamir too, Shanna. And also I've got to show you all something, something that they were... Um, Something that they were talking about in the last live that I did with Aaron on this was how Starbucks is starting to put olive oil in their in certain coffees. But I got to share something with y'all. I got to share. It seems like it's not going so well because as of March 30th, uh, Starbucks customers are reporting stomach issues after having their new olive oil infused coffees. And let me tell you, um, this is one of many articles that are talking about it. Uh, Starbucks bring olive oil. So this was, or this is in February, 2022. And then if you look, um, oh, that's the pink drinks finally being bottled. Well, oh, interesting. Um, so February. Okay. So this says, uh, Starbucks new olive oil infused coffee may carry health benefits. Okay. That's in February. And then we get to like March, right? End of March. Starbucks customers are complaining that the new olive oil drink is causing stomach issues. Sorry. <laughs> Did it go out again? Can you see me? But anyway, all of that to say, I thought I was sharing my screen. Am I frozen still? Hello? Okay, so I'm going to act like I'm not frozen. Okay, cool. So if you look at some of these older ones, it talks about Starbucks bringing olive oil February 22nd. And it talks about... Um, let me see. No, that's not Starbucks. Right here. Uh, oh, that's about pink drink. Starbucks new olive oil infused coffee may carry health benefits February 27th. And then you get to March, right? And these three in particular, it says Starbucks customers are reporting stomach issues after, and it's like the drinking the olive oil. Starbucks olive oil infused coffees may cause stomach issues. Starbucks customers are complaining of the new olive oil causing stomach issues. So I'm back, bit laggy. My bad. I'm so sorry. Peace and love. It looks like my Wi-Fi is fine now, but I'm sharing my screen. There we go. <laughs> so if you look at these top three, these are the three newest, and it's talking about how these are causing stomach issues. Um, let me see. So yeah, okay. I'm glad that y'all can see me now. I'm so sorry. I don't know why this is happening, but I'm glad that you're here. And if it happens again, don't worry. It'll, I'll come back. Please and love. Uh, so apparently we see this trend of these olive oil drinks causing some stomach issues that obviously they didn't think would happen. And now I have a feeling that the olive people aren't going to use that whole like Starbucks is putting olive oil in their drinks now because, well, it doesn't seem like it's going too well and it's only been out for a little bit. So anywho, just thought I'd let y'all know. Um, oh, I see. I see Louisa. Okay. So here's what Louisa said. Not sure if someone already said it, but it would make sense if they made up and stretched that water thing so that they would not only make their stuff seem more affordable, but also demonize something else. Louisa, absolutely. I completely agree with that. And um, that I feel like, Louisa, that happens a lot in all MLMs, right? They're going to take something that's not from an MLM and sometimes something that's from an MLM. Um, and they are going to almost demonize it, like you said, right? Say, look at this compared to this, right? Our product compared to their product. Our product has this, this, and this. Their product has this, this, and this. Our product's so much better, and you get more bang for your buck type of thing. Um, Digi, your hair is so shiny looking as a fellow blondie. I know it's hard to get this shine on. Thank you. My new hairstylist is amazing. I love her. Thank you so much. Oh, oh, yes. Like the, lick the stream, like the stream. Okay, I'll press play. Um so that we can continue. I love, love that. Like I love our products. I seriously love them. And we just talked about skincare, but we all. Okay, first off, I need to make sure that I didn't miss anything. Okay, here we go. Actually use our olive leaf, right? Alexis, so, thank as you. As you can see here, there's amazing results. If you are not in our Tree to Beauty um, group, 
have somebody, um, whoever invited you here, add you to that so you can see all the different before and afters, but we have so many guys. This is just one. Um, 95% saw bright, radiant complexion and well-being. 71% effective against effects of aging. Thank you, Alexis. 72% preferred Olive Vita, which is our brand uh, under the olive tree, okay, um, to their previous products that they had been using. Okay. Olive Vita is not the olive tree. Let me, let me explain. Olive Vita. That's one of their, maybe it is, Olive, olive Vita Olive Tree Pharmacy. I think... Olivita is one of their other, like, yes. Okay. Okay. And I think they're going to show this or they have shown it. Olivita is one of their other quote unquote companies. Um, like, like, uh, olive tree people. Okay. Olivita, they put on their website as well. Okay. So olive tree people and Olivita are two different things, right? Under this whole olive tree thing, but they did put, uh, Olivita on their website, as well as LA Dope, which is another one of their companies, and Olive. <sighs> wow, that just went really fast. Like, what's going on? It, it was also, it's the whole Monate thing was confusing for me too, but essentially, yeah, they're retail brands, but that they also added to their MLM. Thank you, V. Thank you so much. If you're wondering, I did pass my exam because I know we got some more people who just jumped on. So let's keep going. Okay. So guys, this is something that is so different and unique and no other company in the MLM space has this technology. I love that. Like I love our products. I seriously love them. And we just talked about skincare, but we also have. In okay. Here's what I was talking about. If you look at the bottom, you can see these Instagrams. So you have LA dope official, which is one of the brand, like one of their retail brands. Um, Olive Vita official, which is what I was just talking about. And then Olive Tree People, which is their MLM. And so they're actually selling all of these other LA Dope and LA Vita products in the Olive Tree People. But LA Dope and LA Vita are not MLMs in of themselves. So you can literally, I, I think, from what I can see, and I'll have to double check it, I know you can buy some of the products from on the Olive Tree People MLM website on these two other websites that are retail. <laughs> like I, I like I said at the beginning I truly believe they started the olive tree people so that they can have distributors who they know will be customers I can't keep up with all the Tesla congratulations thank you I know I can barely do it golly adjustables we also have you know um this the body washes and some of my favorite is like even the mouth pulling oil which is something I've never done before have you had you ever done that before I had not until this company, but I got to tell you, that is Brandon's like favorite, one of his favorite products. Um, and he had gotten whiter teeth in two days from using that. Two so days. It's amazing. Yeehaw. Yes. So something that really stuck out to me when deciding to join this company, one of the first things um, that was shared with me was the social media platform. And I was like, holy moly. Okay. So if you guys don't know, actually... Um, from it actually, I'm like, my God. olive tree people. I think this is a good point. If any of you've added too much olive oil to something, mm -hmm, your stomach hurts. And I think, so Nicole Wagner said, I grew up with a mostly Italian family and I cannot imagine ingesting too much olive oil. It makes your stomach feel so heavy and icky. I think that's an interesting point, especially when we look at what's going on with Starbucks and their olive oil coffees right now and how people are talking about how much it's hurting their stomach. I think that's a good point. Is an umbrella of Olavita and LA Dope. Yes. And so you'll see this, this one used to say Olavita. I think this one, it says from Tree to Beauty now, but it has 25.2. These are all three are, this one's the Olavita, this is the LA Dope, and this is Olive Tree People. Okay, so this is 395,000, then there's 25.2,000 and 4,772. And you can tell that their, it, their social media presence is very authentic and real because you can see all the comments, you can see all the posts, you can see all the, it's very incredible uh, content, uh, which if you are not on there, go follow them today. Because that was one thing that really stuck out to me. 
another thing, sorry, my dogs all of a sudden just go crazy. So if you hear that, of course I start to talk and they decide, oh, let's bark. Um, so Same. we are a 19 year old brand. So 19 years old, and it's not that we're a 19 year old direct sales company, but we have established this brand, established these products, have the research done, um, have over 30,000 trees now have our, um, have really created amazing products for 19 years, but we are only about seven weeks old in direct sales. So they have worked. Really so y'all been doing this for 19 years and nobody's really heard of you. That tells me something that's telling me. And by nobody, I, I obviously have 395. When, you know what? I got to look at something. Um, Olivita Instagram. You always do this. You don't look at the followers. You look at the likes. Okay. That's what we do here. Okay. On average, they get 2,000 likes per post with, well, looks like they used to get a little less, but they probably recently got some distributors. 2,000, 2,200 likes for 395,000 followers. I don't... I don't think that's pretty, I don't think that's very good. Someone else want to help out? Ooh, you know what I could do? I could check. Mm. Uh, Aaron said, does Brandon have rhabdomyolysis? Rhabdo 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 I swear to God, I can talk in medical, but I can't right now. Rhabdomyolysis? Uh, I don't know. That's a good question. Uh, what is that? I'll we'll have to look it up. Um... That their new company, just 19 years old. Yeah, so you're 19 years old, yet you haven't done anything wow or wild, and people aren't just like in love with your products. It seems that you haven't really grown much. When did when it comes to the US? Good question. How do we figure that out? When did the olive tree people come to the U.S.? Tree to beauty. Okay. Okay. Mm -mm. Nothing. All right. Story. Okay. All right. I'm just skimming to see if I see anything worth. I don't know. I don't know when it came to the U.S. However, I just feel like it should have uh, more hype if it's been around for 19 years and it's that good. You know what I mean? Really hard to build over 30,000 customers. They still, they have a 30, 365 day money back guarantee, less than 350 consoles. We're going to have my over 350. Thing. Come on. Uh, we do not use water as the first ingredient. So like Shanna said, the water as the first ingredient means more preservatives. You're going to have more skin and you're more, you're more likely to have more skin issues. Um, we have an incredible brand story. So you're going to hear more about that. But that was something that pulled me a lot. Shanna said that water as the first ingredient means more preservatives. You're going to have more skin. You're more, you're more likely to have more skin issues. Uh-huh. That's right, Mary. You better watch your language, babe. Also, she said, did you hear she was like, she was like, you're going to have, she's talking about how there's water in the certain products. And if you use those, you're going to have more. And then she, she's like, skin it. And then she corrects herself. You might have more skin issues. That's right. You might, but probably not. And also you better watch being so like assertive with what you're saying, because it seems like you could get in trouble for that. Uh, someone said rhabdomyol myolysis is a breakdown of muscle tissue so high that it can cause kidney failure. Oh, that's so sad. Uh, yeah. Most people aren't allergic to preservatives. It's so funny how they'll do just about anything 
just about anything to sell a product. Like, girl, I'm from the UK. I've managed to catch you like, welcome, welcome. Reading with Case, I just looked it up and an olive oil tree less produces less than a gallon of olive oil a year. Just 30,000 trees they have and 30,000 customers. Something's not adding up. Yeah, I agree. There's something going on with this company that is like, that's interesting to me. Um, and I find it, I find it interesting how Mary Scott and Shanna are talking about it. Like they're pretty much just saying water's bad. And it's like that, no, <laughs> no, it's not. Um, we have an incredible brand story. So you're going to hear more about that, but that was something that what? pulled me a lot to Sila. Oh, 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 yes. So if you haven't seen my live, my last live with Aaron on this, on the olive tree people, it was Mary Scott. She talked about how it helps with Alzheimer's. What? I remember that now. Thank you. This brand and lots of incredible assets. So when you go on to the social media content, you know, feel free to screenshot things and use those. And, and it goes back years. So it's nice because you can see before and afters. You can see pictures for so long of real people talking about these products, which also leads me to having our celebrities that have talked about us. We've never paid a celebrity to talk about our products, yet they have loved them. So we have uh, Madonna who has used our product, Charlize Theron, uh, Gigi Hadid, who actually used it throughout her entire pregnancy. Uh, this was a big deal. We've never paid for this kind of content to be done, which is awesome. I absolutely call BS. I do not believe that you did not pay Gigi Hadid Oh, that's a lie. Oh, that's a lie. I'm going to run to the bathroom, but I'm going to keep the video playing, okay? And I'm going to be watching it from my phone. I'll just be right back. It'll be two seconds. Awesome. And then we've also been featured in different magazines like Vogue, Gala, Elle, InStyle, Glamour, uh, Bazaar, lots and lots of content. Again, not never once have we had to pay for any of this. So it's pretty, pretty special and neat. All right, Shanna, you want to talk about hydroxytyrosol? I sure my favorite do. ingredient. Yes, yes. Well, it is the ingredient that is in all of our products, but I have to tell you, like I said, I am very, very big in health and wellness and um, I had to learn a lot about skincare while I was here, but this particular thing is what drew me in. It, it was like, as soon as I heard the story behind this ingredient, it, it was over for me. I said, uh, sign me up. Where do I sign? Okay. So my other, I already gave you homework guys. You probably don't like me as a teacher. Cause I'm going to give you another thing. Hey, so please go and Google hydroxytyrosol. So take down the word from this screen. Okay. Hydroxytyrosol and go and Google it and Google it with any symptoms that you possibly have. What? Okay. And I'm going to tell you, you are going to find many, many, many things out there that are researched, okay? NIH, everything, okay, about what this does. So remember we were talking about that olive leaf tree, the, the tree and the olive leaf that he had, and they squashed the olive leaf, right? Well, it comes to this juice, and it's not an oil, guys. This is a juice, right? And what it does is that that juice actually helps with so many things. There's ESFA studies. Um, it's from trees that live up to 4,000 years old. And it's one of the reasons they do. Okay, so how exciting is that? They love to call this the holistic beauty molecule. Okay, and what it does is things like this, supercharge energy, guys, I, since I have been taking this for the few weeks that I have, I definitely feel more alert, Sorry, more focused and kind of, I like to call it, I like to call it my happy molecule, right? Because that's how oh. I feel when I take this product. Okay. Weight reduction. Okay. Let's, let's, oh, she's talking about it right now. Supercharge energy, weight reduction. And guys, all of this is proven. If you go and research it, NIH studies and everything, it's all proven. Okay. It's all, proven. it's all proven. Girl, where, where are the sources? They have talked about so many different sources, even like, especially like their CEO in their video at the beginning. And it says in this sources in this, like they're talking about how all these sources say it's so great, but where? 
Huh? Can you show me? Also, you might have a source, but let me look at it. Like, what is it? And is it actually a good source? Well, it's FDA approved too. Yes, it is FDA approved. Okay, so. So you're saying hydrox, hydroxytyrosol is FDA approved. Your product's not though. So let's keep that. Let's keep on the straight and narrow path when we're talking about it, okay? Again, so much research that you can do. Um, regeneration and detoxification of the liver increases con concentration, <laughs> reduces fat storage in the body. I was loving that. Protects the heart. Um, it's <laughs> can we talk about how freaking broad? Like you could not get any broader than someone saying protect the heart. <laughs> okay. How? Um, she just it just says it just says blood sugar. <laughs> it doesn't say anything with that. Um, blood pressure. Uh, <laughs> what? Regeneration and detoxification of liver and lungs increases at lungs increases concentration. You know your liver detoxifies stuff, right? Your liver doesn't need to be detoxified because that's what it does. Regeneration and detoxification of liver and lungs regenerates and detoxifies your lungs. <laughs> no, no, that's not how that works. Reduces the fat storage of your body. Huh? I, I just, <laughs> I, I'm giggling because it's just like, protects the heart. How, how does it do that? Does it put like a shield in front of the heart or something? It can help to balance out some blood sugar issues, um, cholesterol, blood pressure, muscle what regeneration. And really quick, you cannot claim a source and put the burden of proof on your consumers. That, that right there. It, it can help to balance out some blood sugar issues, um, cholesterol, blood pressure, muscle regeneration. And guys, all of this is stuff that you can find. Don't take our word for it, right? But this oh, product here it. is what is in our IO1. And that's where it all starts. And that is what they were, what Thomas was talking about on that video that it helped him and in within six months, turn his entire life around. So that story just, you know, kind of, I, I, as soon as I heard that story, I had to do some research. And as soon as I did the research, I said, okay. Okay. What research? Why can't you easily just show us the research that you did to prove to us first that you did it second, that, that it's a great thing. No, mm -mm. 2023, you know what we're not going to do? We're not going to say I have sources and then say, but uh, you can go look, you can go find stuff, right? Yeah, I'm not going to post them, but I have sources. No, you're going to show them. You're going to show the sources. We're not going to sit here any longer and say, I got them. I got sources that say this. Well, then let me see, Shanna. Did you really research it, my girl? Probably not. This stuff sounds amazing. I need to try this. And guys, I'm telling you, there has been so much change in our life besides the clean energy. I also just feel like I can get things done. Like I can concentrate so well and get things done. I just had deja vu. I just had deja vu from an Elamir training. I swear to God, she said that exact same thing in an Elamir training. If you don't know what Elamir is, it's the little yellow strip that she's a part of. I swear she said that same sentence because I just had deja vu. Um, and my husband seems to feel like it, it a little bit like I do where it's kind of Water. getting his concentration on point because he yes. does have that scatterbrain. I think that we all should. A lot of us do. A lot of us report all of this stuff. Um, but I mean, you know, when we're, when we're just a few you know, when it's like 10 people reporting stuff, right? Like, it's just like, well, there's only been 10 reports about this. If y'all, if all 223 of you on here started reporting it, and then all over 11,600 subs on my channel started reporting it, then we'd get some traction. So, um, yeah, it, it would be very helpful. But I agree, this all needs to be reported to the FDC. That scatterbrain that goes on where he thinks of a bunch of different things at once. Um, but it also, he said that he just overall 
feels like it's helping his glow with his skin as well. So it does all of these things and it is what is in all of our product line. I love this stuff as well. Um, and hello, I've seen your glow. Like it's been uh, every picture you've been posting. I'm like, look at her glow. It's getting glowier. It's getting glowier. So it's neat to see like you can even look at some of the consultants, you know, a few weeks ago and today I'm like, oh my gosh, all of us are like glowing goddesses. It's amazing. All right. So let's also another thing that we have on our website, a lot of times people will start and they'll be like, what do I get? Or this says the majority of consumers use products they don't need. You mean like your whole company brand? You mean like every product you sell? None of us need those products in any way, shape or form. Come on now. The MLM world I've noticed is so extremely materialistic, so materialistic. So it's so ironic that this is what they're saying. Or how do I start? Or what is it that I should do? What, how do I tell a customer what to get? Well, we do have this olive brain where they can take a little a quiz basically, and it will give them exactly the products that they should get for them. So this is a great tool for us, especially as you're learning the products, learning what they do, um, and wanting to make sure that your customers get the right products for them um, or even for yourself uh, so that you grab the right products as well. Cause we do have so many amazing products that honestly, I haven't used one that I'm like, oh, this isn't for me, but I will say the Olive Brain does. Okay, so someone said they found these products on the UK Amazon. I'm trying, I'm gonna go try to find them on the um, US Amazon. If, so if one of y'all find it on the US Amazon, let me know. Let's help you a little bit get started. Um, as we spoke about today a little bit was the water wells for Africa. So when I saw the moment that I saw this, I was like, okay, this is for me. I've been to Africa. I love it. I, I've served there and it's always on my heart to continue to go back. And for me, when I saw this, I was like, okay, uh, when is the next incentive trip to build wells in Africa? Cause I will totally go. And that is something that he does want to do. He wants to take consultants, not only to Spain or to Germany or to LA um, to go in, and see all of our other places, but he would also like to take consultants to Africa for the launching of each um, of each will, uh, well being built. Sorry about that. Um, and so they have been building wells for in Africa since 2013. Yes, please like the stream. Thank you. All right. I'm really excited about this, Shanna. Been to Africa? <laughs> a white woman's leadership? Yes. So usually we have five ways to earn. Now oh, we, have we have six now. <laughs> so this month in April, uh, we have our retail commission, which is awesome. Of course, 25. Oh. To, we'll kind of go over those really quick after this slide. So we like, have our retail. Like we have our fast start bonus. We have our team growth bonus. We also have our unilevel. And then we have our leadership bonus. And Shanna, do you want to tell us what number six is? Okay, so number six is something that was just announced for us in April. So we have an additional way to earn. So basically, any person that you personally bring in once you join, okay, if they purchase a starter set, you will not only get the 20% yeah. fast start, and the team growth bonus. So you're getting paid in so many different ways already, right? But you're also going to get $50 cash on top of that again. So you're getting every, and, and that's everybody guys, anybody who buys a starter kit, you will get $50 extra. Zorzin, I didn't even see your comment about being in the ICU. I yes. I'm glad that you're doing better though. Sorry. I did not see that for this month. So that's why it's so important to come in in April because this is the month. Well, and we're in crazy momentum right now. <laughs> oh right? my <laughs> God. <laughs> Anyone got a bingo card? <laughs> momentum. Now is the time. So it's really exciting that we have six ways to earn this month. Uh, this is a way for you to build. Um, okay. Listen. Okay. This is like all about, they're not even trying to hide in this company how they're all about team, team growing. Ready? Fast start bonus, which is going to include like getting uh, people, right? To join your team, not just buy products. 
team growth bonus, so growing your team, union level organization bonus, team growing, leadership bonus for, for being a leader to your team. And number six, plus in April, we have an additional way to earn for every person you personally sponsor. By sponsor, it means, you know, join your team. If they purchase a starter kit, you will now get 20% fast start team growth bonus, but you will also get $50 cash. Solid. Um, as you're coming in and you're like, hey, you know what? I'm going to build my team. Well, guess what? We're also going to be paying you to build your team, which is awesome. Um, okay. Oh, hey. No, go back. Jeez, Hold Mary. <laughs> it's going too fast for me. Okay. So retail commissions, we are paid 25 to 35% on anything that you personally sell. And then our fast start bonus. So this is pretty neat. Okay. So when you. First so let's talk about how the fact that if you have over like 3000 personal volume, you get paid 10% more. So you, everyone starts off at 25% retail commission rate on sales paid weekly. And then you get a 5% additional uh, pay when you have 1000 to 3000 personal volume. And then you get a 10% addition to the 25, not to the 30 with PV of greater than 3000. So it's literally like, Oh, Hey, you have more PV. We're going to pay you even more. Why can't they all just pay the same thing? I think it's crappy because you're paying the leaders who are already making more, even more. First sign up. And then, well, actually when you just have somebody sign up under you, I would like to call it the enroller bonus because it's really like every person that you enroll. Uh, if they purchase a starter kit or they have $100 in loyalty reward orders from either a customer or themselves, you're going to earn 20%. Now, if they have somebody so on your second level and they just signed up under them for the first 60 days, you're going to get 10%. And if they have somebody under them, which they just raised this amount this month, on their third level to have 7.5%. So not only will you be earning your commissions, of course, right? The 25 to 35, but let's just talk about when you're, when you're signing somebody up. So again, Hey, Water Lily. So Water Lily says, this is the first time I'm hearing of this company. Do we know anything regarding the income disclosure statement? No, with new MLMs, we usually don't know anything for a couple of years with income disclosure statements. Um, but compensation plans we know a little you've got the fifty dollar bonus if they get a sign up kit then you got the twenty percent of whatever that kit is because that's the part of the fast start then you're gonna get a fifty dollars on top of that they're paying i mean like you buy the yes, 135 kit and i'll show the kits for. after you're basically getting 50%. super new like, <laughs> uh -huh. she said it was seven weeks uh, that it's been open question mark. So yeah. Profit of what it is. It's crazy. It's crazy. It's amazing. Okay. So yes. let's move on to team growth bonus. So this is another fun thing. So let's say um, you sign up three people that with a kit, so you're going to get $50. If you and that team have $600 combined, then you do have to have those combined. First of all, you will get the $50. Then if those same three people sign up three people, you would get 250. And if those same three people sign up three people, it's 1500. So I would love to know, I always ask this when they're talking about how much money you can make. Okay. How many people actually do that? Right? So they're saying $1,500 level three, look at all of this you'll make. It's like, okay, what's the percentage of people who do that though? You're promising all this money. You're saying you're going to get to do this. You're going to do this. You should, uh, you know, like trying to push the fact that look how much money you can make in your first month. It's like, mm, give me the percentage of people who actually do this. And then, you know what, even better a year from now, I want to see the percentage of people that actually do this. Basically we have this thing of like shoot for three, shoot for right. three, because you know, if everyone shoots for three, guess what? you're going to grow really deep, really fast, and you're going to be making great money. I love that. Right? right? Mm -hmm. A little bit about our comp plan. We won't go into too much details, but we are paid on our unit level. I'm going to be very 
I might be a little petty for a second, okay? Any of y'all watch Swoop? We're going to Petty University, you know what I mean? And a couple of you have mentioned this. Their entire job is like social media, and especially the two of them, they do presentations all the time. Can we make them a little better? Can we, like, like someone said, Rem Remus said, they're not even in presenter mode. I, I mean, this is a little petty, but like, why is it so bad? And also, could you be a little excited? <laughs> Reading with Kay said, we don't go into mu too much detail because it's terrible. <laughs> Swoop. 10% uh, on um, our level ones, all the way down to 5% now uh, to our level sevens. Which okay, so let's look at this. I'm sorry. I know that it's kind of blurry and it's not very clear, which is what blurry means. <laughs> LOL. Um, that was for me to laugh at, not me laughing at you Excuse me while I have a moment. Qualified legs. Okay, so to even rank up to Black Olive. Also, can we look at these names? We have Olive, Green Olive, Violet Olive, Violet, <laughs> Violet Olive. What is it? Gold Olive, Black Olive, Olive Star, Green Olive Star, Violet Olive Star, Silver Olive Star, Gold Olive Star, Black Olive Star. I mean, talk about interesting, right? So we see Black Olive, which I feel like, first off, monthly PV is the same for every person, even the top of the company, which is BS. You, you should have triple, quadruple the amount of monthly PV than, than like the bottom two ranks. That's absolutely ridiculous. So it's like, oh, you only need 100 for the, your customers. As a black olive star, I cannot take myself seriously saying that. I'm so sorry. I can't do it. Um, and then the monthly, monthly OV. That's very hard to see. I think it's like, you know, group type of thing. Okay. See, black olive star, 162,000. And you need... To even hit, to hit Black Olive Star, you can't do it without 162,000 like group total, I guess, and six legs. And then it goes five legs, four legs, three legs, three legs, three legs, two legs to Black Olive. So you couldn't even hit Black Olive. I can't take that seriously. Uh, without two legs of business. So it, it's really just like every other company when it comes to recruitment. Which is incredible. And then we also have our bonuses. Um, we have our, our rank bonuses of a hundred ranging from a hundred to run the world. I don't think Mary understands the content she's presenting. Honestly, I, I, I've looked, I'm looking at it for the first time. I think it's the first time I'm looking at it and I understand it better than her. I could explain it better than she can. 6,000. So lots of great ways to earn money. All right, Shanna, let's talk about how they get started. Awesome. Okay. So guys, it's so exciting because one thing I do love about getting started here um, at the Olive Tree people is that you can enroll for $50 and you're going to get a digital starter kit and your website, right? So all of that for just the $50. Now, once you pay that 50, you have a chance to buy any kind of package that we offer, but those packages are anywhere from 30 to 45% discount. So they have a range of different product lines in each one, um, as you can see here, which is awesome. Okay. So you can choose to do that, or you can choose to go ahead and get, go back in and purchase any product that you want. However, this is going to be the best to go because you're going to get such a deep discount. If you look at these prices, even if you start off with the lowest one, which is the facial glow set, it's an $195 value. And if you go all the way to the highest, this is insane right now, because it's about $1,600 worth of product that you are getting for $835. So when that, when you buy one of these starter kits, you're getting a real, could you, <laughs> could you imagine spending this much money on products because they have olive oil in them because they have olive oil <laughs> um no no thank you 
really, really intense, deep discount. And then you can pick whatever it is that you want. Mm -hmm. Some of these are going to include like the inside products. And <laughs> I don't think we really talked a whole heck of a lot about the products, guys, but that hydroxy tire salt is in every product. So if you can see here, we have things ranging from that IO1 wellness elixir, which is the concentrate of the hydroxy tire salt. Then we have um, even extra virgin olive oil. Guys, I don't know if you've been seeing, but Starbucks is literally putting shots in their coffee now. It's like a, a big thing, right? Yeah, it is. And now um, people are concerned because uh, it's hurting people's stomachs. Like it's become a thing on the news. I showed I, some of you who were in this earlier, who were in this earlier, I showed y'all some of it. Um, but there's multiple. Uh, things on different news, like Yahoo News, and so on and so forth. And I showed y'all, but you can Google it too. Not to be that uh, sources, sources, but I did show them. Uh, not to be the Google your source thing, you know. But I'm surprised you're still using that because it's hurt a lot of people's stomachs. Like it's become a thing. Yeah. So olive. So Starbucks has has a line where they put olive oil in their coffees or something. It's a new line. And apparently it's not going so well and people are having bad reactions to it. So yikes. Right. And then we have collagen. We have a beauty elixir. We have mouth cooling oils, some matcha teas. I mean, we have so many products guys and it all is based around that amazing antioxidant that is hydroxytyrosol. So with that being said, guys, you guys want to get started this month. We have amazing momentum right now, but we also have that extra <laughs> money. So what we can do is if we get you started, right, then you can get somebody started and you get that $50 right back, right away, like that. I've never seen a way to earn so much money so quickly in a comp plan. I'm like, oh my gosh, I wish they would have done this when I first started. <laughs> Let's be honest. So yes. um, I start over in April because that's a really, really great way to earn Honestly, some additional yes. money. Yes. Uh, you know, I wanted to ask you a few questions. So I stopped the screen share because you've been with us for a couple of weeks now. And I just have grown to love you and think you're so amazing. And so I wanted to share, I wanted you to share, not me share. I wanted you to share a little bit of why you decided to give up everything and come to Olive Tree. You're an yeah, Shanna, tell me, why'd you leave your entire downline at Elamir? She's going to say, oh, because it just sounded so awesome. It's so great. I did my research. In reality, Elamir is like a sinking ship. <laughs> really. Amazing leader. You've been at the top of, you know, of the last company. Tell us why. Why? Why Olive Tree? Well, as you can see the story behind this, I mean, there's a amazing story that our founder, Thomas, you can feel his heart through the screen. As soon as we closed our, our Zoom, our first Zoom with him, my husband and I looked at each other and shut your mouth time. You know what I mean? Hold on. Hold on. I've got to, I've got to do my thing. Give me a second. I should have set this up better. It's not going to be the same. And Let's shut your mouth a <laughs> It uh, it goes to Miss uh, Shanna. Shanna, shut your mouth. Said, oh my gosh, that energy was just, it just felt so right, right? And then everything else that I wanted kind of checked the boxes, guys, because I wanted something unique and different that stuck out from any other company. And again, we are the only company that has waterless skincare. We are the only company that has hydroxy tyrosol, which is the most powerful antioxidant, guys. It actually even synthesizes glutathione, if you guys know what glutathione is, right? In your body too. So not only are we getting this antioxidant power, but- Are they actually the only company with waterless whatever? Ah, almost got my drink. Uh waterless skincare no they aren't <laughs> hold on i'll show you guys um i'll share my screen so that y'all can see it i don't want to be that person look big in korea waterless skincare okay real original 
a guide to waterless skincare. Forbes, everything you need to know about waterless beauty. The Guardian, wa waterless skincare, the beauty firms tapping into blah, 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 blah. What is waterless beauty? The 10 best waterless moisturizers. Okay. <gasps> Y'all. <laughs> Shanna, stop it. The glow recipe? Like, it's, it's number one. I cannot even handle this. That's too good. It's too good. It's too good. Why are you saying stuff that we can so easily combat with truth? Oh my goodness gracious. We're getting anti-aging because this is what keeps those olive trees alive for so long. And, and it's just, to me, was just yes, such Debbie. an amazing product. Here's something funny, Demi, is she's going to say, I meant, I meant MLM. But, but that's not what you said. You said it earlier, but that's not what you said. Like, you're just being vague to act as though y'all are better than the rest. And I couldn't wait to start doing more research. You know, it just got me excited, got me passionate. And so um, the other last thing that I want to talk about is more oh, business. It didn't share my screen. Are y'all for real? Did it not? Hold on, let me do that again. Um, waterless. I'm sorry. I shared my screen, but I guess it didn't like share it, share it on here. Um, can y'all see it? <gasps> no, you can't. Hold on. Ready? Hold on. Hold on. There. Oh, okay. Why can't I? <gasps> What's going on? Give me a second. Oh, Oh, it's new. You have to add it to stream now. You can't just share it. That's a new thing. You have to like click add to stream. So, sorry. <laughs> Thank you for saying that. Uh, so here, here we see first off that uh, waterless skincare is a thing, right? Big in Korea, a guide to waterless skincare. I was talking about here's the Guardian waterless skincare. Forbes one was in here too. Where'd it go? Forbes, everything you need to know about waterless beauty. Um, waterless cosmetics. Okay. And then I said the top best waterless moisturizers of 2023 to hydrate and heal. And then that's when I saw the glow recipe, Dermalogica, all this stuff. Yeah. It's, there's literally nothing new about it. Anyway, thank you, uh, for telling me that. Wow. That would, that would feel so foolish. And this, the business part of me knew that this was such an amazing opportunity that stood out from so many others. And the reason why I'm saying that is because we're not a startup, guys. So we Thank are you. new, okay? We're new to DS. We are new to MLM. We have started in the, the U.S. and we're, we can go Perfect. so many different places. So that's what I'm really excited about, right? Yes. But okay. we're not a new brand. So meaning... The product guys, 84% of the customers return to buy these products. So that means based on what though? Also, how much of your company are distributors and versus like just customers? So like, yeah, distributors are going to come back and buy the product because they're trying to sell the product. But what's, what's it with just customers only, not distributors? that these products are amazing. It's it numbers don't lie. Right. So when they told me that I was, I got so excited thinking about this in a DS model, because if we keep getting return customers, because these products are so good, that, what does that mean for us? It means growth. Right? No, uh, Brooke Ashley Banks is the green sweater lady, <laughs> right? But they give off the same vibe growth over time, over time, residual income. And that was, that made me really, really excited. This but yes. the other thing was the fact that they have shipping down. We have a warehouse in California, right? And they have shipping Very down neat. their packaging guys. Their packaging is gorgeous. Their products are luxurious. Their marketing is beautiful. That's all set up for you. What's funny. Okay. So it's seven weeks old here, but like in other parts of the world, it's not. That makes sense. But also, it doesn't make sense for their company, their MLM company, to have those stats either. So it's like they're either using stats that they didn't actually do for this company, like in the MLM version, or they're using seven-week-old stats, or I don't know. You let me know what you think. 
So when I came in here, that made me excited to know that I didn't have to put all of the graphics together and take lots of pictures and do all of those things, you know? So for me, it was a package deal. There was so many things that made this company stand out from what's out there because I just didn't want I, I got to be honest with you guys. Do you guys care if I'm honest with you? I I looked at a. I would literally pay money for you to be honest with us, Shanna. I would. I would do a lot of things for Shanna to be honest with us. And you know what's so funny? Um, why are you saying that? Like, haven't you been honest with us during this? Why do you have to be like? Can I just be honest with you? Yeah. Uh, we like that. I'm kind of thinking that you haven't been. Since you feel like you need to say that, that's, that's odd. A lot of companies, a lot of companies, guys. And I'm just going to be really honest with you. I was bored. I was bored. I got the products and I'm like, another shake, another drink, another <laughs> pill. Okay, yeah. Oh, this one's going to, you know, make me lose weight. Okay, this. And honestly, I just was bored. I was so bored. I'm like, I, I don't know. I don't think there's anything out there for us. Like, I, I started to think that way, you know, it was a little scary. MF said, um, Julie Joe, they tried to build an MLM model in the EU, but they failed. They were only retail, but most people in EU can get better high end, similar products in every EU country for lower prices. Ah, so they failed EU, their MLM structure failed in the EU. That makes sense. And I'm like, I, I guess like, I just, I can't find the right home. And this literally fell in my lap guys to the point where I clicked on a hashtag yeah. that, said, that said, all I hear is you were literally that desperate to get out of Elamir. You were, you were ready to grift to the next thing to get as much money as you can and then grift to another thing. That's all I hear is how desperate you were olive tree people because somebody was talking about the wells in Africa guys like right. how cool is it that we're gonna be able to go and do that yeah. we're gonna be able to go and sorry to keep pausing it so much but I can't believe that we're watching Mary Scott and Shanna Hunter be friendly to each other in the same company talking about olive oil I just it's wild to think when you think a little, you know, when you think a little about that, it's like, I never in a million years imagined these two people together on the live talking or on a, I guess it was a live talking about olive oil. <laughs> wow. So wild. Help build wells in Africa. Like, I, I don't I've know. I've never seen any company do that either. Which no. Is, yeah. No. And so, yeah, I mean, basically, um, how I got led there just by my heart. My heart pulled me to the things that they were talking about. And I clicked on a hashtag and saw this beautiful new company yes, that friend. had so many, you know, <laughs> unique things about it and just pulled on my heartstrings. And, you know, it's, it's good business sense. I mean, numbers don't lie. <laughs> so yeah. It's so true. And I think I could, I would, I mean, I felt the exact same way. Like I was in this rut as well of like, I thought I had to get out of the industry because they're again, the same things over and over again, nothing with as much heart as I wanted. And I will say, yes, the heart is, is definitely here and the products stand out. You're telling me that Vic beauty didn't have enough heart for you girl you went so hard for that company like so hard when people in the anti-mlm genre called you out for being a butthead you went so hard for it you called us all bullies for what you did so you're telling me there was no heart in that mm, I, I say that you are lying I always say they're scary Art good. equals money that because i'm like you. i can't live without them they're so good that it's scary good <laughs> Yes. Well, and you sit there every month going, I have to pace myself. Like, was just what I, I want every carry, right? I mean, there's, there's shampoo and conditioner guys. Like the FOMO is real. Yes. If you were a consultant and you're having FOMO of somebody else's products, put it in the comments. Yes. And, Who's no, having FOMO? And tell us which, which products you're having FOMO of, because I'm sure that I've been there or I, my bill is going to show. Like, <laughs> 
bad part is like, I, every single time I see something, I'm like, oh my gosh, I've got to have that. That's so great. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. So the whole Mary Scott thing is she went to bat for one of her downlines after uh, Chelsea did a video on her. And uh, then Mary made like the worst response in the world talking about how we like essentially will make people unalive themselves and it's our fault. <laughs> Girl, you know, I went balls to the wall with that. Yes. And the it's fact cool. that the ingredients are so clean, it's like a holistic wellness. And this is another thing. One last thing. I know I talk too much and I promise after I say this, I'll just be quiet, but <laughs> we love you talking. <laughs> Keep going. Keep also, going. Yes, Chrissy. What I also love is the fact she went to beauty society that it has something for everybody. Like yeah. literally something Men, for women, everybody. Teens, babies. Like, like you're babies. attracting a, a people who are from the holistic world, right? That really just want clean products. You're attracting people who really need some healthy, like they love wellness, right? And so you attract the wellness people. You attract the people who love beauty because there's collagen, there's all the whole entire skin. You attract people who like to eat because of olive oil. Huh? <laughs> Just, <laughs> oh my gosh, slap my knee, you know? Caroline, right? And then you've got somebody off to the side where you're like, Here's my husband and he's like, oh my gosh, that's cool. They have all these body washes and creams. Like I want to buy oh, every try that mouth pulling oil. Things that did not happen for 100 Alex. RIP Alex to the go. But <laughs> also that didn't happen. Oh. Yes. And so it, it literally, we have something for everyone. And that to me is very, very important. I've been in companies where we've had one product or we were very niche, right? You only. Yeah. Elamir with literal, the, the tongue thing, uh, Melissa, which company is this? This is new. It's called the olive tree people. They had like products for a certain Down. type of person. This is literally products for everyone, guys. And that totally attracted me as well because I knew that our team could be successful <laughs> as well. And they're consumer People are going to need them. Once Absolutely. you have it, you're, I mean, I will say this anti aging cream, I mean, I did use <laughs> it all of it no, within a month. But I shouldn't have probably because I did use it on a skin. But now I'm like, oh my gosh, I need this because I would use it on everything. I used it on a sunburn. I used it on my hand. Like, oh, I'm just going to say it's consumable what? and you're going to use it all. And you're going to be sad that you used it all. And that's why I had to get on auto ship because now I'm like, I can't live without it. Is that so, why you're on auto ship? Yes. They are very consumable. Um, and then, you know, we want to open this up for questions. If you guys have any questions about how to join or obviously go back to the consultant that I'm also opening this up for questions. What questions do y'all have <laughs> invited you? But if you have any questions, uh, please let us know. I did see somebody say they joined today. They're wondering if they can still get a starter kit. Yes, you can. If you go to your website, uh, put in sets at the in the search engine and you'll see the starter set still there. I just learned that myself, guys. So that's pretty cool. Really? It is pretty <laughs> cool. Interesting. And if you're already a consultant and you want to no, right now, I won't tell you that. <laughs> I have learned that you can't get another one. <laughs> First of all, how okay. dare you? <laughs> I don't know if you're supposed to, but for right now, if you're a consultant, you're like, oh my gosh, I, I need another different one. I have learned that there's still up there. Are you um, here and said I might need to order another? <laughs> yes. Oh, uh, that's how I feel too. Um, I jo okay, I bought the 136. Can we buy more than one starter set? So as of right now, it does show on our websites. Now this isn't supposed to be like right this, there. but until they fix it, you can. Any chance? And if you put in sets. And Provoke says, any chance that slathering yourself with undiluted olive oil caused your sunburn? It's <laughs> a good question. In the search engine, you can. Let me see on Facebook if there's any questions at all <laughs> there. Yes, Lewis. Don't believe. I don't believe there is. All right, you guys, again, if you want to go back to the consultant that invited you tonight, if you have questions for them, you want their website, we would love to lock arms with you. See you have you. a successful April. We're here to help. Yeah. Is there anything else you would add, Shanna? 
No, I think we're good. I mean, besides the fact that, you know, we... Is there anything else you'd like to add, Shanna? No, proceeds to add. <laughs> we have something right now where there is less than probably 350 consultants on board right now. Mm -hmm. And, and, you know, and timing isn't everything, but I will tell yes, you, it, it definitely gives you a lot of advantage in this space because I, like nobody's heard of this yet. Yes. <laughs> Everyone yeah. that I have talked to has been like, wait, all of what? Like, what if they that? have heard of it, they heard of it as a customer. Like I've had people that tell me, oh my gosh, I've been a customer of them. They're now direct sales. I'm like, yes, they are. Which and is pretty cool. so excited because they love the product already which is so, so nice. And guys, I mean, I'm so excited to get you guys all going on board and everybody start showing their glowing faces because yeah. if you notice, if you- I ain't gonna lie right now, my face is glowing. My face is glowing and I didn't use any olive oil. You look at Mary right now, you see that glow and you see, look, see when I t turn my head, see that glow? Oh, <laughs> we can't I'm wait telling to you. See we're like the glow team. Everybody's glowing. That's um, why we're glow besides graciously loving others, but we definitely do glow. <laughs> yes. Yes. It, okay, it, I don't see any other questions. So I don't either. Thank you, Shanna, for joining me tonight. It was such a pleasure to have you alongside to, to lead this call. You're such an incredible leader and have such um, such a heart for people. And I love that so much about you. Thank you all for joining us tonight. Again, if you have any questions, we're always here to help, but go back to that consultant that invited you. Thanks guys. And have a great week. Bye. Bye. Peace out. Oh my gosh. Okay. So what are your thoughts on the olive people? Cause I am having trouble taking them seriously. I mean, don't get me wrong. I love to watch Shanna and Mary Scott sit there and chit chat and just say the weirdest things, but I'm having trouble taking it seriously. And I had some people telling me it was culty, like really culty, but I haven't seen the like super cultiness of it yet. So if y'all have some culty stuff about this, feel free to let me know and send it my way. Uh, also, don't forget to go ahead and like the video. And if you want to go the extra mile, once we end it, you can leave a comment down below um, in the, uh, the replay if, if you will. Uh, so yeah, I hate it. That's a, that's a, Alexis, I hate it. <laughs> um, Mary is my favorite. She's so weird. <laughs> Interesting. I can use olive oil from Sprouts. Correct. <laughs> olive, olive without them. That's a great use of the word. There's so many moments that you could really, you know, make something funny out of it and they just don't take the opportunity anyway so more to come on that obviously i know a few other creators definitely have some more to come on that i will too i'm sure aaron and i will do another live eventually about them maybe a little more in depth but uh i appreciate y'all being here go ahead and leave a like subscribe if you haven't i saw that 40 percent of people watch my videos weren't subscribed i was like bro what so if you could do that that'd be awesome and leave a comment once we get off thanks again i'm gonna try to do these more i think it's so fun and I hope you have a wonderful rest of your day. Bye, everybody.